Okay, so this week uh, we will talk about the major considerations of date visualization design. So first we will talk about the topography so that how we should choose the right <coughs> types and also size of the fence. And also next, so we will see a lot of examples of the visualization design so that as I mentioned earlier, so the key to design great visualizations is to learn is to learn from those good examples. So first, uh, font is very important so that choosing the, the right font is also another key elements uh, in design in the visualization de uh, design. So this is a is a pro exam is an example of the pro choice of the fonts. And here this is another one. <clears throat> So ironic sense coined a new term for this exactly scenarios. And sometimes the placement uh, is also uh, also need more uh, consideration. So here you can say this is also, I would say a bad choice of placing the funds. So similar to geography, so we also have a discipline that called uh, typography. So that is art and technology of arranging letters and also characters. So the major consideration like adjust the space between those letters, how you can choose the right size, leadings, line length, and also letter spacing. And it is very important because <coughs> it has been used anywhere like computers, cell phones, uh, social medias, uh, etc. Uh, so one example that we can see is from those uh, technical giant companies. Uh, so we see Google in 2015, they changed its logo to a sans serif type, so make it easier to scale. In 2016, Facebook also changed its face type, a typeface of the font. OK, um, and also later in 2017, Apple also changed its website and also iOS 9 operating system. So choose a new uh, face type. And a, a, a fun fact that is that one of the only college courses that Steve Jobs ever took was a topography class. Uh, he has credited this class in playing a critical roles in the success of Apple. <clears throat> okay, so you, you may already notice that I, t I mentioned the, the typeface and also font. So what is the difference? Well, normally they are considered uh, different, but nowadays we just use that as the same way. So uh, basically you can think that typeface is a collection of the font. So there are multiple fonts that belong to one um, typeface. Okay, so I think that's that's enough for the uh, definition between typeface and also fonts. So this is an example that here we can see, um, here those are all the same typeface, but now we can look at, um, now they're uh, the different font. <clears throat> okay, so they belong to the same typeface, and they have different fonts. Another key concept is uh, serif uh, and also sans serif. Okay, so uh, the sans actually means that without. Okay, so that means without. So serif is referred to this little tiny foot. Okay, so sans serif means that the font that without those little tiny foot. <clears throat> so that's a difference. And here, those are the uh, those several common serif and also sans serif fonts. Okay, so uh, serif means that those have those uh, tiny little foot. For example, the, this one, uh, Times New Roma, sans serif, and we, we already saw that one earlier. So that is without those tiny foot. Okay. <clears throat> And I think this might be make sense that I just uh, from this website and I copy and pasted some uh, what they considered 
the web safe funds. So I just want to give you an example that um, some different type of the fund. So this one probably is the most widely used fund um, because that is, uh, I think that's default in the Word document. So that is for both online and also printed media. And this one is also very easy to readable. So even for the small font size. And this one is also very suitable for many type of the business. Okay, and this one you can see it has less space between those characters. Um, and this one I'm not going to pronounce those names. Uh, it's hard for me to pronounce those names. So this one is not supported by mobile operating system. So we should pay attention for this one. Uh, this is also a very popular one. So uh, it is a sense found <coughs> because it has those tiny foot. So this one looks very professional and is used in many newspapers or any other news website. Um, this one is also another uh, sense font. Um, so it is very elegant and also very readable at different uh, at different font size. Okay, and this is also sense font. Uh, this one we may see this uh, a lot, like when we writing code on the website. So that is often used to display the code. And this is one type of the scripts um, found. So just mimic the handwritings. Okay, um, this one may look like very sophisticated, elegant. However, it is hard to read. Okay, so it is hard to read. And another thing that I want to keep in mind about the font is that uh, even for the same points, it doesn't mean that if you are choose same points, they are all the same size across different fonts. So here we can see. Uh, with different fonts, even we are all using the same size. Okay, they look like the, the size look like different, slightly different. Or even we're using the same points, the size look uh, slightly different. Okay, so keep in mind that the font with the same points may still be different in the size. Okay, uh, autonomy of the typeface. So. <clears throat> I think I'm going to uh, skip those slides. So uh, you can read those slides that what is the uh, uh, cap height. Okay, so that is this part. The mean line is this one. Okay, and the baseline is this one. And also different type have different uh, uh, terms. Okay, upper cases, lower cases, crossbar, bold, terminal, final. Okay, and this one is called uh, ligature. Uh, again, I'm not sure about the pronunciation. Um, and you can see that in some data visualizations, so they are using those beautiful connections, connectings uh, across those two letters. Okay, uh, and also the kerning. So kerning means the space. Okay, the modification of the space between those two letters. Okay, and also tracking. So tracking is similar to kerning. However, tracking adjusts the space uh, between all letters. Okay. And also uh, the leading. So leading is defined as a distance between the baselines. Okay. Uh, so similar to colors. So topography also uh, different fonts also can give it different um, personal feelings or emotions. Okay, so you can consider the emotions that are tied to the, the way that words are expressed on this page. Okay, so what does this text make you think of? Okay, and how about this one? Do you want to use which one do you want to use on the wedding invitation or greeting card for Valentine's Day? And how about this one? Okay, so this one might be something that I will write the note to my kids. Okay, and something that kids would have a really fun time with. So making a smiley face out of it 
for card. Okay, and what about this one? So would you date this person? <laughs> okay, and this person really li loves a uh, data visualization. You mean you see charting their loves into a typeface. Okay, so perception of the funds are different. So um, there are several studies that show that the emotions and the personalities are associated with the different funds. Okay, so like uh, salary funds are considered stable, practical, and mutual. Okay, and the sense serif is considered not positive or negative. Uh, so it's kind of like neutral. And script is feminine. Modern funds are assertive and cross. <clears throat> okay, so here I just give you some examples of the uh, serif fund versus the sans serif fund. Okay, so you can you can feel the difference. Okay, and also here some script fund again mimic the handwritings. And the modern fonts mean that those are designed uh, in the relatively the present time, so not designed like uh, several hundred years ago. Okay. And also keep in mind that so the challenging uh, font choice made the task seem to require more time to achieve. So this study found that the, the same task were asked for participants, but in different fonts. And the participant felt that the task was more difficult to complete when the font was hard to read, even though the task was no difference. OK, and this is a similar study, so that basically the easier the font was to read, the less the complex the intervention was uh, perceived. 